Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are once again at the Belfry. We're here in the TaylorMade Performance Centre and the video today is going to be based around moving your pressure or moving your weight to start the downswing and maybe looking at the things or some of the things that you need to be careful of when you do this. There's often a few things I see golfers do wrong. So just before we get into that video, um, make sure you go ahead and follow me on my social media platforms. Uh, the details should be down in the corner of the screen now. So you've got Facebook, you've got Twitter and you've got Instagram. It'll just help you connect with me, maybe get a little bit of an insight as to what I get up to on a day to day basis. So as I said, the video today is looking at weight shift and pressure shifts um, and we're just going to go first of all through what that is uh, and then as I say we're going to go through maybe three ways that you can do this uh, two of those ways are unfortunately incorrect the one way which we're going to hopefully get you to do back home is the correct way and we're just going to go through the differences and as I say some of these things you just have to be a little bit careful when you practice that you don't fall into maybe doing the right thing intentionally but it ends up being the wrong thing out on the golf course so what do we mean by pressure shift well if I just take my starting position face onto the camera Okay, when we play golf and we are good at playing golf, we move our pressure between the feet, okay? This is not to be confused with weight, okay? Moving weight is when we move the mass, okay? Pressure is different. Pressure is looking at the force that we exert through the ground, okay? So for example, if I was to stand here, for me to move left, I need to exert more pressure or more force through my right side, okay? So if we can measure this, it would show more pressure through my right side to move me left. So during the golf swing, we need to move pressure. As we start down, so as we made our backswing through our transition, as we start down, we need to shift pressure towards our lead side. In this case, it's my left leg. So I think golfers are certainly getting a little bit more aware of this, uh, and they probably are aware that there's a little bit more of a lateral move in the golf swing than what maybe they, they sort of believed maybe a few years ago. But there's a couple of things that I see golfers do wrong when they're practicing. And we're gonna go, as I say, through those today. So let's look at the first one. So I'm just gonna get myself set up again, okay? And I'm just gonna make, hopefully, what is a pretty standard looking backswing. So I'm just gonna wire myself up, okay? So the first one I see golfers do wrong is when they shift their entire body towards the target. Okay, so I certainly feel I've got, I've got more pressure through my left side. I certainly feel I'm exerting more force through the ground. But you can see how that's caused my upper body to move significantly target side of this golf ball. So let me do that with a little bit more speed so you can see that. So I'm just going to go backswing. And then I'm going to move my forces through that left side. Okay, so certainly I feel that. I feel like I've pushed down through the ground. But I've got myself very, very much in front of the golf ball. From here, we're going to do one of two things. We're going to deliver the golf club very, very steeply into the ground. Or that golfer is going to try and back up through impact in an attempt to sort of recover some of those positions that we've maybe done wrong on the way down. So this is quite common. You know, certainly golfers, maybe there's golfers out there with a little bit reduced flexibility who maybe can't separate the lower from the upper body. They will often try and shift the pressure this way with a big lateral movement of the head towards the target. We really want to make sure we're not falling into that habit, okay? The second one, which again is incorrect, is when we try and shift some pressure and that movement of the hips causes the upper body to sort of almost move away from the target, okay? So as I push down, my lead shoulder goes upwards too much. I get too much side bend, which is the bend away from the target. My head therefore goes away from the target as well. From here, we're gonna find it very, very difficult to strike the ball correctly. We're gonna find it very, very difficult to deliver the handle in front of the sort of hosel to get any lean. And that in turn is gonna affect our ball flight. So let me just do that one again for you with a little bit more speed. So we try and shift the sort of pressure forwards, but it has the effect of causing the upper body to move too much back. Lead shoulder goes too much up, right shoulder's too low. From there, it's quite difficult to put as much speed into the golf club as we'd like. So there's two incorrect moves. So hopefully we're gonna go through the right move. This is what I want you to try and feel, okay? We're gonna try and feel that once we've made our backswing, we're gonna feel that we push a little bit through the ground. Okay, through my lead foot, this is my left foot. To do that, I'm gonna feel like I have to sort of move a little bit more down towards the ground, and my hips and my pelvis are gonna to have to feel as if they move a little bit towards the target, so there's a little bit of lateral in there, okay? So we go back, and then we move a little bit this way. The key thing here is to note that as we are doing that, the head is staying about centered, okay? As I'm starting that downswing move, my head is not moving. 
What that means is that my shoulders are in good alignment. As the club gets into this position here, my lead shoulder is low enough that I can start to move it up and out the way. The problem we have with that second foot we looked at was that when we make this move, this shoulder's already gone too high. When the club gets to about this position, we struggle to get the handle low enough and we struggle to pivot correctly through the golf ball. So it's really, really important that we get a nice blend of the two. Okay, so not a bad idea to maybe give yourself the feeling of those two wrong ones and try and find the one in between. So for example, this wrong first one would be when maybe the lead shoulder stays too low and my head moves too much forwards. The second one will be when the lead shoulder goes too much up. We want to try and find a nice blend between the two where we can shift some pressure, but my head isn't moving too much off the ball. From here, that leaves me in a great position to now pivot out the way, pull my left shoulder up and out the way. That allows me to get the handle forward, allows me to put the right pressure through the golf ball, and it allows me to deliver the club the most efficient way. Hopefully, that makes sense. Moving pressure is absolutely key to good golf and sort of powerful golf. Okay, We know that the best golfers in the world and the ones who hit it the furthest move their pressure very, very well. They use the ground fantastically. If we can get golfers out there who struggle to use the ground better, we can start to deliver the club better. And that ultimately is what is going to help us play some good golf. Right, let me hit a couple of shots for you. I'm going to try and hit these quite a way up the left of the driver, just so I'm pretty face onto the camera. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to see kind of a little bit of a movement laterally with the legs but an upper body which stays pretty centred during that move. Okay, that felt pretty good. Let's do another one. Again, same angle so you can see. So I'm going to try and shift my pressure but keep my head about centred. Okay, and two pretty good shots there. So really, really important that we move the pressure correctly, as I say, but also really important that we understand the right and the wrong way to do this. I can do this the wrong way and the feels I get are correct. You know, I can do this the wrong way and feel, yeah, I've put some pressure through that left side, that must be what's correct. But in reality, the upper centers move too much forward and we're really gonna struggle from there. So just having the right feeling isn't necessarily gonna be the correct thing for you to do during practice. We need to make golfers aware of what they should be doing, what they should be looking for, making sure that you're practicing in the correct way. So hopefully that video helped. Hopefully there's something you can take to the drive range, some practical stuff. Uh, that's really, really important for me that you can take this straight to the drive range and practice it. But it'd be interesting to get your comments. So if you have got any comments, there's a box down below, as I'm sure you're aware, you can post them in there. There's also a like button. If you did like the video, click that, that really helps me. And if you haven't done already, then please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. It just means you'll get an email notification whenever I upload some new content. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.